Okay, there was another mass shooting, um, this time at a Texas elementary school. I'm going to do this a little bit differently than most of the other news videos I do. We're going to read a news article, and then I'll go over some of the stuff I found out when I was doing my own independent research. Okay, so this article is from The Hill. The death toll from a shooting at a Texas elementary school has risen to 12 children and two adults, according to authorities. The Texas Department of Public Safety confirmed the numbers to the Associated Press. Earlier on Tuesday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott identified the sh suspected shooter as 18-year-old Salvador Ramos, who was believed to have entered Robb Elementary School in U U Uvalde, Texas, with a handgun as well as possibly a rifle. He shot and killed horrifically, incomprehensibly 14 students and killed a teacher, Abbott said at the time, adding that the shooter himself is deceased and is believed that, that responding officers killed him. The reported death toll makes Tuesday's shooting the deadliest school shooting since the one that took place at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida in 2018. Uval Memorial Hospital has said earlier on Facebook shortly before 3 p.m. local time that two individuals had died as part of a group of more than a dozen children taken to a hospital after the shooting at the school about 85 miles west of San Antonio. The ages and identities of those who died were not immediately released. Uvalde has a population of roughly 15,000 people, over 80% of which are Hispanic and roughly 21% who live under the poverty line, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. So this guy basically decided, if I'm going to murder somebody, it's going to be a bunch of little kids that go to a school for poor people and their children. Um... That's pretty much what that says. The school went into lockdown earlier Tuesday, saying there was an active shooter on the premises. Parents were allowed to pick up their children from a reunification center. Um, I'm not going to read the entire article because it's it's not it's not all worth going over. It's just statements from politicians giving their usual thoughts and prayers crap. But I want to point out that they've mentioned that the um, shooter killed his grandmother before going and attacking these people. Now, later on, they said that the grandmother was still alive, but she's in critical condition. And I was reminded of the um, the Thurston High School shooting. This one act actually took place a couple of months after I was born, um, where this guy, that he was 15, he was supposedly going to get expelled or having some kind of expulsion hearing, and he killed both his mother and father the day before coming up to the school and killing two of his classmates um, before being apprehended by these other classmates who stopped him from murdering more people. So after kind of just reading some of the stuff, I found an article from, from Daily Mail, which is just a, a usual tabloid garbage website. But one of the things that I had to give them credit for was they put up some of his posts from social media, uh, at least his Instagram. And there was a woman who was tagged to his, on one of his pictures of a firearm that he posted. And I originally thought that was, that was either someone that he knew personally, or that was him on some alt account. Cause I, I couldn't see like, what was the correlation? Um, so I went to the account. I'm not going to say the name cause I don't, I don't want to contribute to her harassment. Um, but apparently according to her, and there are a lot of people who are writing nasty stuff to her saying, you're going to jail, enjoy your last days of freedom. You know, I've, I've screenshots, all this stuff, but apparently he came in her DMS and said, Hey, you're going to repost my gun pics. She said, what? He puts question mark. What, what your guns got to do with me? She asked, he says, just wanted to tag you. She says, I'm so confused. And then she says, but why? I don't know. Be grateful I tagged you. No, it's just scary for real. She says, he says, how? She writes, I barely know you and you tagged me in a picture with some guns. Uh, I guess. Hey. And then she says, hello. So she posted these screenshots to prove that her and this guy don't know each other. She's not even from Texas. And it was so interesting because she was getting all of these followers, just like these curious people who saw her name attached to one of his posts and was being accused by some people of, 
apparently liking the attention she was getting because she hadn't turned off the ability to follow her, which that that's that's a hell of a twisted logic there that apparently you enjoy being followed by people who only want to follow you because they think you have some connection to a child killer. And also just to show you how twisted people's sense of logic and reasoning is, we actually have a couple of accounts who have uh, on Instagram because they, we know what his account's name is. They make fake accounts with his picture and then pretend to be him saying that they, they avoided uh, actually being killed by the police and now he's on, now they're him on the run. They're role-playing as a child killer. So I don't really have much to say about this shooting other than it's literally Sandy Hook 2.0. You have a guy who's relatively young. The guy that did Sandy Hook was 20. This guy was 18. He kills a bunch of little kids, 20 little, you know, erupt, around 20 something children and then a teacher or two. And then he dies during the incident, whereas the except that killer killed himself. This one was killed by police. Um, and I was really disturbed to know that this year is actually going to be the 10th anniversary of Sandy Hook in December. We're going to we're going to have the 10th anniversary of. You know, I, I criticize him a lot, but of when Obama was trying to do something about gun control and only a few Republicans like McCain and Collins actually backed some kind of bill, but it still didn't get enough support. And it just seems like it's a cycle that never changes. Um, like you could literally have taken this story and had it happen 10 years ago and it would be just as believable because back then we had we had school shootings um, perpetrated by people who don't even go to the school, you know. Uh, like that's the only real thing that's changed in the last couple of years. Now, now these shootings are sometimes being done by people that aren't even students at the school. Like I, I, you know, you know, you, you're familiar with Columbine, Virginia Tech. Um, now it's just some random crazy person gets angry about whatever. And then they kill a bunch of children that did nothing to them. And I don't, I'm not going to mention too many politicians' comments, but I saw a clip of Cruz, who's actually been banned on this channel as far as I try to not make videos about him. Um, and he said that Democrats are going to try and look for solutions that have no effect, like gun, more gun control measures that are going to limit people's rights to have firearms. And then he, point, he said that the real solution was uh, put, enacting laws that have to do with mental health. I'm just thinking to myself... As far as we know, this guy had no previous behavior of, you know, some kind of mental imbalance. Um, so what exactly would passing a mental health bill do to stop this? And especially since we've talked before about how getting a firearm is in the U.S. is easier than getting a car. Like right now, if I want to get a gun, whatever restrictions that California has in place, and they have a lot of them, I could just go to Arizona just drive over there and I'd have one in less than probably two days. So it's just another sad example that we, we really are seeing history repeating itself in record time. And no matter how much you want things to improve because you have a bunch of politicians that don't want to actually change any laws, um, we're just going to keep having to let people's children get murdered by lunatics and villains. I wish I had a better conclusion of this, but I don't.